In this video, we're going cycling in California. From the dramatic coastal highways to the rolling vineyards and impressive redwoods. I'll be doing my best to keep up with adventure cyclist and restaurateur, Ramey McManus. We'll be learning about winemaking in the Sonoma County area, famous for its landscapes and vineyards, and more recently, its growing threat from wildfires. To document this ride of taste and discovery, we're bringing the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III. My name is Ramey McManus. I'm a restaurateur here in Idaho. I'm in the middle of building a project uh, with my business partner, a restaurant called Kin. My last venture was a small restaurant. My partner and I built the whole thing out. Four months, a little under $100,000 got us up and running. Whereas Kin is a larger project, over a million dollar budget. So obviously there's quite a few stresses and uh, pressure that goes along with a project of this size. So a few weeks ago, I decided I'd sneak away, get on a bike and ride through Sonoma County. Yeah, as we sit here, you'll probably hear some construction in the background right now. I've been a cyclist for most of my adult life. Became a professional cyclist at the age of 26. Now cycling is much more about adventure for me and you know, enjoying the ride. I recently spent 14 days in Iceland, uh, nine of which were on bicycle, carrying all my gear, camera gear, Typically on rides, I'm always using a small point and shoot camera. This is my first time with this Olympus. It was a larger camera than I normally carry on a bike ride, but with the strap, it was no problem at all to ride around with it. So it was nice to have a few more dials at my disposal. I didn't feel like I was out of my depth at all with it. Our ride started in the town of Healdsburg, a small community surrounded with scenic vineyards and renowned cycling both of which we were here to enjoy. Thank you. The camera's pro capture mode shoots at up to 30 frames per second and starts capturing images before you fully press the shutter button, ensuring you get exactly the moment that you want. If you're using a tripod, an ultra high res mode allows you to create 50 megapixel files by combining multiple exposures. Our first stop was at Kivera Vineyards. The estate practices biodynamics, which is a holistic, ecological approach to farming. But it's best known for its world-class wines. This first one is a rosé of mainly Grenache, but it's got approximately 10% of Morved, Cunoise, Syrah, and Petit Syrah blended in to add to the complexity. After a delightful wine tasting, we got a tour of the gardens where Ramey immediately recognized many of the herbs being grown. Uh, lemon verbena. Oftentimes we'll uh, make sorbets or ice cream using this. Mm. Now put it in your hand and smack it. So, so just, just, yeah, now smell it. Wow, yeah. That's <laughs> the concept of biodynamics emphasizes how every element of a farming system has value, and Ramey reflected on his own experiences, utilizing some produce that might otherwise go to waste. So as a restaurateur, we actually go out to the farms and harvest with the farmers. It's a little harder on the bar side. You know, we came up with a drink called the Moron, which is Welsh for carrot. Perfect. They didn't know how many carrots they had that had a little mite, so they couldn't sell. And so they invited us out and we harvested 400 pounds of carrots. So we juiced them all. Carrot, aquavit, gin, a uh, little bit of lime juice. That was the first drink that we came up with, our first signature cocktail. Our next stop on the tour was the Alexander Valley Vineyard, where Matt Murphy, a third generation member of a winemaking family, gave us a tour. All right, well, I'll uh, take you guys in and show you our wine caves here. The caves were insane. Cyrus Alexander was given 9,000 acres as a land grant in 1842, and so my grandparents bought it. In 1975, they started the winery officially. We have about 25,000 square feet of cave space currently have about 9,000 barrels in here. I'll just keep trading keep glasses. Me. Notice how smooth the oak flavor is in the wine. So yeah, we're still very much a family-owned and family-run business, an estate winery. We're up on the hill where the uh, Alexander and Wetzel family graveyard is, and uh, we're looking back on the hills above our ranch where the uh, Kincaid fire burned through on uh, the night of October 26th. 
and Sunday the 27th. It came down this side of the valley, blown by the wind, and burned right across the top of our ranch here, and right down to where we're standing. There's a hedge there next to the tasting room that's about 20 feet away from the tasting room that's burned, so. Well, this yeah, burned right, right where we're standing. Yeah, burned right down the side of the hill there. Yep. It burned pretty much everything it could without burning the building, so we, we're very lucky that everybody did their job and saved this place, so. Down the street, Soda Rock Winery, that place was absolutely devastated by the fire. It was, uh, it was heartbreaking, for sure. After the fires, you still see so many people visiting and so many people supporting the local economy. It didn't feel like people were staying away from Sonoma. With our visit to wine country complete, it was time to take on the King Ridge Ride, considered by many to be the jewel in the crown of North Bay cycling roads. To get things started, Ramey shared some fundamental tips for photographing one's bicycle. Number one, drive side out. Number two, big ring. Number three, pedal at three o'clock. Number four, balance on your handlebar. Number five, shoot it square. Number six, quit taking photos, go ride. I started out on the coastline, moved inland through winding country roads with groves of redwood trees, which brought the temperature down, and then you would crest a mountain and the sun would come back out, warm you up, warm your soul, and eventually coming upon the ocean views as the sun went down, that's what riding in North County, California is all about. This trip was really nice for me to be able to get away for a couple of days and clear my head. At the same time, you draw inspiration when you go on trips, and now I'm coming back to Boise with a clear mind and full heart and ready to complete this restaurant. For DP Review, I'm Richard Butler.